in this dog training video, I'm going to teach you how to teach your dog to shake. Yes, good boy! Let me tell you a story about the baddest dog that ever was. Sneaking food from the fridge, tearing up the garbage He's a goofy old Dexter the dog He's a bad, bad Dexter the dog The baddest pup that there ever was Seat stealing all day long Howling like a junkyard dog So teaching your dog to give his paw is not only a fun trick, but it's also very useful because if you want to do anything with his paw, like check out his foot, you can go shake, good, and check out his foot, give him another treat, and tell him how smart he is. It's also one of my biggest requests for tricks. Now I will tell you, when you're teaching your dog these new behaviors, especially the shake or the paw trick, you want to start reinforcing, meaning giving them a tree, giving them their scratches, telling them how smart they are, when you asked for the behavior. Because I don't want my dog just to come up to me and paw me, especially if he has dirty feet or I'm getting ready to go out, or paw for my attention because he's learned that that behavior gets me to pay attention to him. I only want to pay attention to him and reward him and tell him how smart he is when I've asked for the behavior or when I'm practicing the behavior. All other times, I just ignore him. So I don't tell him he's wrong because I don't want him to stop shaking. I, he just doesn't get a reward. He doesn't get my attention for that behavior. I might even go ahead and tell him, oh, go lay down. We're going to do something else. So let's go check out some of my students' dogs learning how to shake. I'm back there tickling. So the reason I'm holding here, yes, is because if I don't, he's likely, Ooh. I'm just tickling now, to dunk his head. So, yes, and that also gives me the opportunity to slightly lift him up, yes, to lighten that foot. Yes, and treat. Now, Haru has a say please where he sits on his butt and his two, foot, who's two feet like this go up. So I need to make sure that I'm luring and rewarding ideally before that second paw comes up. We're going to continue to work with Haru at lifting up his paw. I've been practicing this for a few sessions. Yes! So I'm just kind of reaching behind him now with a little tickle. And see if he'll lift it up. Yes! And then he is. Yes! So I'm just lifting the tree just slightly above. Yes! He's doing the lifting, I'm not. Because I want him to lift it. I don't want to be lifting their paws. I want to be able to say paw or shake or whatever your cue is. And they lift it. Again, no words because we don't have the behavior. So I don't want to say shake or paw or whatever because I, I don't have what I want. Yes! And what I want is to put my hand there and then to be much more certain about getting it there. Yes! Good boy! Yes! Good boy! And again, I want to start having it rest in my hand. He's definitely to the point where he's lifting it. I, I think I want to get to the point where he's setting it in my hand before I add that word. Yes! Good boy! Yes! Good boy! Good boy! Okay, that's just awesome. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Shake? Yes! Good job! I want him to try to target my hand a little better. So since he's doing this well and he's been doing it for a while, I'm gonna go ahead and not yes and treat unless he actually hits my hand. Shake, yes, good job. Shake, yes, good boy. 
So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you thought it was fun watching my students' dogs learning how to shake, please give them a thumbs up for all their hard work. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified of upcoming videos. And if you want to dive deeper into your dog's behavior, training, and care, do check out my Patreon page. The link is below. Until next time, remember to pause and enjoy life. And we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.